Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to use the MLKit face detection library or API to detect faces in images. So first thing which we have to do is in app level build.gradle in dependencies we have to add this implementation com.google.android.gms play services MLKit face detection version 16.2.0 and we must also have this android x so we have to add this library and for this library to work the device must have play services installed then in android manifest.xml we have to add the permission internet and then we have to add in application uses clear text traffic true and then we have to add this metadata inside the application tag with name com.google.mlkit.vision.dependencies value face. Now let's move to the project in activity main.xml. Here I have a button. This is button one for picking the image. Then I have this text view text view 1 this is for displaying the number of faces detected and I have this image view with ID image view this is for displaying the image it will display the image and the faces detected on it now let's go to main activity dot Java here at the top I have declared image view 1 and text view 1 and also this face detect options and a bitmap called image bitmap in on create i have set content view to r.layout.activity main and then i have defined button 1 by using its id and then i have defined image view 1 and text view 1 using their ids Then I have on click listener for button one where I use this m get content to launch image means to pick image. So this m content m get content is defined here outside on create. It is an activity result launcher and it is defined as register for activity result new activity result contracts dot get content new activity result callback uri and it has this method on activity result uri so when we click button 2 it will pick image file and the uri of the image which is picked we will get it in on activity result so here we will use the uri of the image which is picked so first thing is we convert this URI to a bitmap and that we set as image bitmap. Image bitmap we have declared at top. Here you can see uh, we have declared image bitmap and face detector options. So this is the code for getting bitmap from URI. It, it uses parcel file descriptor and it opens the URI using parcel file descriptor then from parcel file descriptor it gets file descriptor and then it decodes the file descriptor to get the bitmap image. So that is how we get the bitmap image and that will be our image bitmap. Then we define input image. This is for face detection. For face detection we need input image. So here the input image is my image. So this is equal to input image dot from file path get application context comma URI. So this will use the URI to get input image called my image. After this we will process the image to detect faces on this image. For processing the image we need Here I have a new method called 
process image which takes input image so this i have used in on activity result now i will show you this process image method so first thing is it defines a face detector called detector and this is equal to face detection dot get client options so this options is face detector options face detection options detector options and this is defined in on create here in on create after button one on click listener i have defined this options this is equal to new face detector options dot builder dot set performance mode performance mode accurate dot set landmark mode landmark mode all dot set classification mode classification mode all and dot build so this is the options for face detector face detector options so this is used to define the face detector detector equal to face detection dot get client options so now we have a face detector called detector and after this we define task list face called result this is equal to detector here this detector is being used detector dot process image it will process the image and find all the all the faces in it and then it has on success listener and on failure listener in on success listener it has on success method which list face so it will get all the faces and that will be in a list form so that is called faces in on failure listener i do nothing it has this on failure method and exception e so you can display the exception in on failure but here i have not done anything in on failure method so here in on success method i display the faces using this code and for this i have a new method called display faces so let's have a look at this display faces so this display faces list face faces so this faces is a list of all the faces and here we define a new bitmap equal to bitmap dot create bitmap image bitmap dot get width comma image bitmap dot get height comma bitmap dot config argb double eight double eight so this will create a new bitmap with width and height equal to our image yeah i already showed you that this image bitmap is the bitmap form of image which we picked or selected and this will this bitmap will be a new bitmap with width and height equal to the bitmap image which we have selected okay but it will be empty then we get the canvas of this bitmap by writing canvas equal to new canvas bitmap so this will give us a canvas of this bitmap on this canvas we draw our image which is image bitmap canvas dot draw bitmap image bitmap left zero top zero comma paint null so now we will have this image bitmap on this canvas now we define a paint for drawing on this canvas so this paint equal to new paint paint dot anti alias flag and then we set the color to color red set style to style stroke and set stroke width to 3.0 f so this will draw strokes with width 3 and color red so the we will draw squares or rectangles around the faces and that will be red in color and 3 will be the width of the stroke then for each face 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 of faces means each face in the list of faces we get the bounds rect called bounds equal to face dot get bounding box 
so we get the bounding box in form of rect and then we draw the rectangle on the canvas by writing canvas dot draw rect bounds comma paint we use this paint with color red and we draw this rectangle which we get by writing face dot get bounding box and then when it has drawn all the bounds or rectangles for the for the faces after this we can display the image so for this we display image v1 dot set image bitmap bitmap this is the new bitmap which we created from the original bitmap and on this new bitmap we have drawn all the faces means rectangles for all the faces and now we display it in image view one and we display the total number of faces in text view one by writing text view one dot set text total faces plus faces dot size so this is the display faces method and this is used in process image method in process image in on success we display the faces and this process image method is used in on activity result here you can see you know on activity result it will process the image so then it will display now let's have a look at the project so i couldn't install it in the emulator but I was able to install it in my app. In emulator, there was no play services, so it couldn't work. But it works in mobile phone if it has the play services. So let's have a look at this. So here, I when I click on this, it will pick any image. Like here, I pick this image and it has these two faces. Then another image. When I pick this image, it detects nine faces. Okay, let's pick one more image. Uh, this one, it has got three faces. And this last image, this has got one face. So that's why in this video, Thank you very much for watching this.